I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive, Ellie for short. High five! Good job! And today we're going to do a demonstration so that you can learn how to burrito your bunny. But first, if you are new to our channel, welcome! We give tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, then go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so that you never miss any of our weekly videos. First, let's just go over the basic occasions when you might need to burrito your rabbit. Generally, the only reasons you will need to burrito your rabbit is if you A, need to hold them securely, so you need to wrap them in a towel and hold them so that they don't squirm out of your arms or something along those lines. Or if they're sick and you need to give them medicine and they're just not cooperating with you. So those are most the, mostly the times when you would have to burrito your rabbit. I'm sure there are other occasions when you, when you might need to also, but for the most part, it's not all that common. <laughs> but it's still a very good and useful skill to have. Kind of related to this, I do have a video about how to know if your rabbit is sick because it can be quite difficult to know. Rabbits often hide their sicknesses because in the wild that would have protected them from getting picked off by some kind of predator. So that means as pet caretakers we need to really pay attention to the subtle signs. So you can check out that video to learn more about those techniques for watching your rabbit and knowing how to tell when they're not feeling well. All you really need for this technique to burrito your rabbit is a large towel, uh, a large bath towel, it doesn't need to be like a beach towel, but a large towel enough that it can wrap around a rabbit at least like two times. Other considerations that you want to make are making sure that you have a kind of high surface that you can put your rabbit, especially if they're unfamiliar with it. So a kitchen countertop might be a great place to do this burrito technique because your rabbit is likely to be unfamiliar with this area and they won't be able to just hop away as soon as you start trying to wrap them in a towel because some rabbits will get kind of squirmy. Since your rabbit is also on a high place, you want to make sure you are always standing behind them because sometimes rabbits will try to back out of the towel as you try to wrap them up in it and you don't want them backing up off of the counter or off of the table while you're wrapping them up because that can end up leading to injuries. So always stay behind them so if they back up they're just backing up into you. To burrito your rabbit you will first place a towel onto a flat surface so countertop, table, something along those lines and then place your rabbit on top. You want to place them closer to one end of the towel than the other so maybe about two-thirds of the way uh, on one side and then one third on the other. When you place your rabbit on the towel, you can pet them to help them calm down. If you can get them to calm down all the way into a loaf position, that would be great because it'll make it a lot easier to get started on the technique of actually wrapping them up if they're already in a relaxed state. The first step that you want to take is folding the towel up over your rabbit, uh, over the front of them. So you want to fold it over their rabbit's paws and then right up under their chin. If you don't get this part quite right, then your rabbit will be able to essentially just push the towel away in front of them with their front feet, and it won't be a very secure hold. So it is important that you get this one right up against their chin so that they won't be able to struggle free. Next, you're going to fold over the shorter side of the towel over your rabbit's back, and you can tuck it under their feet so that it gets kind of a, a secure hold there. Tucking it under your rabbit's paws will help their own weight kind of keep it from coming loose. You want to make it pretty tight here, but obviously not so that it's com compressing your rabbit and like choking them or compressing their chest, but tight enough that it will actually securely hold your rabbit. For the next step, you are going to fold over the other part of the towel and fold it all the way underneath. So you should have a little bit of length still left on the other side. Uh, you'll need to lift, usually I lift the front of the rabbit, get the towel underneath and lift the back and then get the towel all the way underneath that way. And again, you want to make it tight, comfortably tight, but not compressing your rabbit so that they're uncomfortable. A test is basically if your rabbit is able to wiggle loose without really any problem, then it's not tight enough. Now we want to lift the back end of it up over your rabbit's butt <laughs> so that they can't just wiggle out the back of it. So go ahead and lift that flap up. 
and then bring any remaining towel from the longer side and bring it over your rabbit's back. If it's long enough, you can tuck it under your rabbit's uh, feet under their body again to make it a slightly more secure hold. But if it's not long enough, that's usually okay. Just having one round around a rabbit is usually enough to keep them held. And now you have your rabbit ready to give them any medicine that you need to give them because they won't be able to struggle out of your grip as you try to get it get that syringe into their mouth because ellie ellie especially here is not very not very good when it comes to taking her medicine so we need to burrito her every time and that is how you burrito a bunny if you're looking for another video to watch i do recommend that video about how to know if your rabbit is sick so feel free to head on over there or check out any of my other videos but thank you so much for watching. I do hope that we will see you next week.